Stephen Miller is a former advisor to Donald Trump. He's the founder of America First Legal. He joins us tonight to assess. Stephen Miller, thanks so much for coming on. I, I don't hear anyone talking about what's in the indictment, which is a little weird in a country governed by the rule of law. Well, that's exactly right. And even repressive foreign adversaries of the United States, if they were going to persecute a chief political rival, would create a far more plausible and credible yes. pretext for doing so. What's so remarkable, Tucker, is that the Manhattan DA's office felt completely confident that if they charged President Trump without even naming the law that he broke, that there would be no consequences for them, for their office, or anyone in their employ. They could continue on their merry way, become rich and famous, have wonderful careers, and practice law to great esteem all over the country and probably get some great book deals in the process. And the worst part is, Tucker, they're almost certainly correct in that assumption. Well, that's, that's the scariest part. I mean, if they'd accused him of murder or fentanyl dealing, you know, opening the southern border and letting 100,000 Americans die of drug ODs or, you know, actual crimes. At least you would understand why he was indicted, but you're right. This is just they, they don't care what it looks like. Yeah, the reality, Tucker, is that we've entered an era now where our system of law has been completely overtaken by radical left-wing warriors who use the law as an instrument to extract political consequences and to inflict political pain on their opponents. So our, our legal system has become completely tribalized and radicalized. This is something that George Washington warned about way back in his farewell address. When you have a society that becomes factionalized and is one faction versus another, then you are quickly on the road to despotism. The great failure of the conservative movement, Tucker, is its phony belief that words alone will protect us. Iraq has a constitution similar to ours. Countries all around the world have words on paper that are very much the same as ours, fashioned after ours. And those people in those countries have no safety and no liberty and no justice because it is tribe versus tribe, Sunni versus Shia. The words do not protect us. Men of honor and decency and valor protect us. So when you have law schools, and you have judges, and you have DAs, and you have attorney generals who reject the entire Western system of law, the words on that paper mean nothing. They will not protect right. you, they will not protect your family, they will not protect the country. And unless conservatives and Republicans get serious about understanding the scope and nature of this threat, and stop just tweeting about it, and memeing about it, and talking about it, and understand the scope of reaction that will be necessary to reclaim our legal system, then we're not only going to lose this fight, we're going to lose the whole entire country in the process. Yeah, we need to take a big field trip to South Africa and see how that's doing almost 30 years later. Their new constitution, is it a free country? Really? Would you want to live there? Stephen Miller, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you.